Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another large railgun turret. This thing seen right behind me is called the Type 92 Dual Railgun Tower, which is this lovely thing that features a bunch of interior turrets all the way around it to make sure you're nice and protected from any kind of pesky drones, spiders, wolves, or even meteors in survival mode. It's a very plug in and play with its design. We simply build it up, walk up to a single console, and you've got all the commands there ready to go, where you can simply let the AI take over, manually control the turrets, and of course change the targeting of the interior turrets all the way around it. So press the F10 and find this in the spawn menu. The Type 92 is 518 large blocks, using the Delta Block Number 2 Heavy Industry, Warfare 2, and Warfare 1 DLC packs. We see here a nice lot of information about it, such as it's a main invasion repellent, then we've got its block count, its PCU, right at the bottom here. So giving it a thumbs up, we move around towards the very front, have a quick look around the outside, then we'll go and have a very quick look around the interior, go through the controls, and then we'll go and test it out, see what it can do, and then we'll maybe spawn in the ship and test out the defensive capabilities. So at the very front, this is what we get for the Type 92 Dual Railgun Tower, and that's a lovely concrete base that has a bunch of railings all the way around it. We then got a bunch of interior pillars with interior turrets on top of it, and this is your main form of defense against any kind of pesky drones, any kind of wolves, any kind of spiders, or well, anything coming towards you that the railgun can't handle. Behind there, we can see a transparent LCD screen, which is where our helm is sitting, and that's how we're going to control the turrets, control the railgun, and of course change a few bits and bobs. We'll see that a bit later on. Moving around onto the side, we're not going to be able to see too much, just more turrets around the outside. And there's a bit more of the interior where we can see cargo access, we can see a bunch of batteries, they're going all the way around towards the very back of this thing, there's a hydrogen engine to give it a bit of power. There's a connector to actually load it up by a resource carrying vehicle or ship. You just dock up to this, unload everything the turret needs, and then go away. Or you could connect up to your main base and just use the connector as the main connection point. Ground onto the opposite side, we've got an O2H2 generator. Then over to this side, there's our cargo access. There's another battery, and we should be able to see the back of the O2H2 generator around the corner. Then round towards the very front, here we are once again. Moving up again, better look at the turret. This is how it's all been set up. So just simply two rail guns that's being encased by some armored panels. Got a hazard skin on the end, on the back, and around the base. Moving over to this section, we can see some beam blocks. We see a bunch of batteries to give it a bit of power. There's some blaster edge blocks for some decoration. Then at the very back, that's all we can see. Moving all the way up and looking down, it. All the way across between my line for the moment. There's a column on the end there. Moving all the way along past these armored panels to the hazard skin. Looking at it down here, we see some passages right on the very end of our rail guns, so we just about see it on the inside there. Then down all the way past the barrel, we see that we've got a camera to manually aim this thing if we need to. Then just dropping down, coming underneath it, nothing to talk about over here, so there's no connection points, no nothing. And that's about it for the Type 92 Railgun Tower. So it's bloody fantastic how it's all been set up, should prove very useful in survival mode if you can build this thing. And while in creative, will do very, very well against pretty much anything coming towards it. So as grabbing hold of my character, we now walk up to these steps, come onto the inside. We now walk around here. It's got a little bit of shelter for any kind of oncoming shots. We just hide behind this pillar. Walk around over here. Oh, it's not a locker. It's the back of the hydrogen engine. When I was panning the camera around, when I had a look around earlier, I'm pretty sure this was a locker. Oh, well, we just ignore that for the moment. I'm just going slightly crazy. But yes, here's our cargo access for the main turret to manage those stuff in and out. All the way around here, this is our helm to control it. There's our custom weapon controller if we need to repair that up if it ever took damage. I suppose we can now just hop into this. First person view, and these are the only controls that we get. So number one's going to be to take manual control over the turret. So pressing that, we now move this all the way around and fire it if we need to. There we go, that's a nice chunky sound. With the free camera all the way around. Then doing it once again, if we can spin it, lift it up and down. That's as far as it can go. And then down we can go at full 360. Coming out of that, back into first person view. There we go. Number two is for AR controls, so you can just switch that on, then forget about the turret. Number three, number four is perfect for transporting the turret from one place to another. So that locks the hinge and the rotor to prevent it from wobbling around. Number five, six, and seven is for our interior turrets all the way around this. We've got number five to turn it on and off. Number six to make it target neutrals on and off. And then number seven to change its target priority, which starts off on default. Over to tab number two, we've got nothing else. So what we're going to do, because this is a very short and sweet video, is spawn in the good old albatross, fly past this, and see what kind of damage it can deal. So I spawned in the good old albatross and moved it all the way up to the turret. The turret has a 600 meter ranger on it, and as you can see the turret is ready to go once it's fully recharged. You can see all the 
interior turrets actually pummeling me. In fact, they've disabled several of my thrusters, so I'm starting to lose control of this thing. But any time now, it should open fire. There we go, that's a lovely shot all the way through the main body of the ship. That's going to deal a nice lot of damage. In fact, I am starting to go down now. And if you're wondering about the turrets on this ship, I did disable them to give it a fair fight, because the turrets on this ship can shoot from 1,200, which well completely outranges the little railgun turret sitting right next to me. Just walking through here, oh god, there was a hole in the floor. But that is a lot of damage dealt, and it looks like it is the interior turret doing most of the work for it. Railgun does take quite a long time to actually charge up and fire, but when it does fire, it deals one hell of a lot of damage. And to finish off this video, because the turret is very self-explanatory, what it does is a very useful turret at the end of the day, but we're going to blow it up with a thermonuclear warhead, and any second now, it's going to detonate. There it goes. <laughs> oh, God. I always forget to turn down my headphones. That's bloody loud when that goes off. But we're going to see if any of that survived, and I don't think any of it will. But still, like I said a few videos before, it would be fun to find something that could survive that. And she's grabbing hold of my character once again. Anything surviving around here? I don't think there is. And that's a lot of broken textures all the way around this. Hopefully it'll fix itself. But yes, that is that, the Type 92 dual railgun turret. It's a lovely little turret to use in your world. Very good for the modular encounter system mods if you do get swarmed by a bunch of enemy ships. And it's also very good for the average drone, the wolves, the spiders, and any kind of meteors if you have them turned on. So be linked to the description below if you wish to download and play around it yourself. Highly recommend you do. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.